Where is Allah? Where is Allah? Where is Allah? Where is Allah? Where is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Where is he? Many Muslims historically have gone astray concerning this issue. A large number of Muslims, if this question was posed to them, they would give the wrong answer that goes against what the Quran established and what the Prophet brought. Why would someone discuss this? I've never heard this before. So you thought it was strange. But what's really strange is the fact that you feel strange. Where is Allah? This is such a foolish question. They are confusing and misleading people in an issue nobody has ever understood, nobody will ever understood, and nobody can understand, so you don't talk about it. Where is Allah is an extremely important issue. This is one of the most important things in a human, in a Muslim's life. Because according to many of the scholars, many, if you have a wrong understanding, you may not even belong to Islam. Where is Allah is an extremely important, foolish, important, foolish question. He is over his throne. So he's above the throne, above the heavens. He is subhanAllah Muhammad ibn Khuzaymah who is the Imam of the Imams. He said whoever denies Allah Ta'ala above his heavens, and that's how they all were, very stern. This person must be reprimanded. He must be ordered to repent. And if he does not, he immediately is executed and his corpse is thrown in the dump yard with the rest of the animals. The word used is thummastawa, then turned. It means to turn, to turn to, to put right and to adjust or, or sort out. The istiwa of Allah, him being above, him going over. That's well known to the Arabs. You ask any Arab who knows this language, he's going to say it means to go up and to ascend. It is known what it means. To turn to, to put right and to adjust or, or sort out. It means to go up and to ascend and to adjust or, or sort out. This person must be reprimanded. But this guy <laughs> is a real troublemaker, he's a fitna. Yeah, Allah said he's on his throne. Six times in the Quran, he's on Rahman al Arsh Stawa. He's on his throne. God is not in the center. God is on the Arsh. He's on the throne. And he's definitely on his Arsh. We did not say that. Our parents did not say that. Who said that? The Creator Himself. So he's above the throne, above the heavens. He said, is he sitting on it? I said, we don't say that because Allah didn't say about that, that about himself. And he's definitely on his Arsh. We did not say that. Our parents did not say that. Who said that? The Creator Himself. Allah didn't say about that, that about Himself. Who said that? The Creator Himself. And so He said, no brother, Allah is on the Arsh. But Allah doesn't say Allah is on the Arsh. The word used is thumma stawa, then turned. Istawa in Arabic does not mean to be sitting on. It means to turn. To turn to, to put right and to adjust or, or sort out. Allah is with you everywhere. Allah is with you wherever you are. If we have the, the utter otherness of God or unknowability of God, how then, as an individual, do we feel any closeness to God? If God is so exalted and so above the creation, how do we feel any intimacy with God? We have existence, dimensions, limits in terms of space and time. Allah doesn't have dimensions. There is a place where He is. Allah doesn't have dimensions. This is the thing Allah says in the Quran, There is nothing like Allah. So if Allah is on the Arsh and not here, that means Allah has dimensions. 
If you mean that Allah is within some of his creation, then that is batin. That is not true and that is cannot be said about Allah. Is he everywhere? No, he is not. This is a statement that could reach a person to void his Islam. A large number of Muslims, if this question was posed to them, they would give the wrong answer that goes against what the Quran established and what the Prophet brought. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and they would say that Allah is everywhere and what they mean by that Allah is really everywhere and not explaining it Allah is here with us and so forth and so on and that's the wrong answer if God is so exalted and so above the creation he is over his throne how do we feel any intimacy with God this statement is blasphemy to say that Allah Azza wa is everywhere as for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Lord of all the worlds, there is a place where he is, and that place is not in this dunya. He is the Lord in the heavens and in the earth. He's not in this dunya. He is the Lord in the heavens and in the earth. Allah is there? How are, are you crazy? And in the earth. And that's the wrong answer. Arsh is on top of the seventh heaven. If Allah is on the seventh heaven on top of the Arsh, only so there's a big gap between us and Allah Allah is with you everywhere that is not true that's the wrong answer they have no clue Allah was there and there was nothing created no may Allah have mercy upon you that whoever believes that Allah inhabits the sky or that Allah exists within a place then this person is definitely not a Muslim. Rather, this person should believe that Allah exists without a place and say the two testifications of faith immediately to become Muslim. Allah created in the beginning. When there was nothing, Allah was there. There will come a time when there will be nothing, Allah will be there. Everything else, including Arsh, Kursi, Loh, Mahfuz, and everything is what is referred to in Aqaid as Hadith. Hadith means created. Everything isn't from beginning. Only Allah is from the beginning. When there was nothing, Allah was always there. Allah will always be there. Everything else has been created by Allah. Is this hadith talking about when Allah was, there was nothing? It's impossible. Why? Because the hadith affirms the existence of the throne and the water. Okay? The hadith makes it clear that when the Prophet was talking about Allah was, and while there was nothing before him, what did he say? And his throne was over the water. So the hadith affirms the existence at that time huh? of a throne and water. Allah was there and there was nothing created. When they use this hadith to say that when Allah was, there was nothing, and they quote this hadith, they're playing a game which you may not perceive. When there was nothing, Allah was there. There was throne and water. Hey, Allah said He's on His throne. Six times in the Quran, He's on Rahman al Arshistawa. He's on His throne. Seven, seven, seven. There are seven ayat that repeat the same thing over and over again. That Allah is Mustawin al Arsh. He is over His throne. The seven, seven, seven. Seven mention the references for the seven verses that Allah Ta'ala established His throne. Seven verses, huh, Shaykh? Or seven or eight? Seven, huh? Seven verses that mention Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala established His throne. Seven verses. Eight, eight, eight. And then Allah says in, in eight places in the Quran, how many? Eight places in the Quran. Six, seven, eight.
about although Allah Azza wa Jal is above the seven heavens and he's over his throne in a way that befits his majesty he nonetheless is still with us Allah is with everyone but he's with the people how he's with the people in his ability to see from where he is he's with the people in his ability to hear he's with the people in his ability of the knowledge the powerful knowledge that he has Someone said to me earlier on that no, Allah Ta'ala is closer to us than our jugular vein. Is that correct? Is he? Is he MTS? Is he? He is. How? With what? With his knowledge. With his hearing. With his seeing. And these people until now, they never answer the question, is he in the bathroom? They stay quiet. Is he in the church? They stay quiet. Is he in other places that you, you wouldn't be caught dead in these places? They, they're quiet. Is he in the bar? They're quiet. And those who say everywhere, Allah is everywhere. Yeah, I think for a while. When I go, may Allah Azza's name be exalted. When I go to the toilet, when I go to the bathrooms, when I'm in the sewer, Allah is there? How, are you crazy? Allah Azza wa Jal is greater than all what you can comprehend or, or, or understand. So you have to believe that this statement is blasphemy to say that Allah Azza wa Jal is everywhere. If that is your opinion and you say, you, you feel it to be shameful to think that God is in the toilet with you. When you go to the toilet, can God see you or not see you? Allah says in the Quran, إِنَّهُ بِكُلِّ شَيْءٍ بَصِيرٍ He's watching everything. So if he's watching everything, then and, and to say he's watching you and everything you are doing, he can hear you and whatever you are doing is in his knowledge. It's in his knowledge. So if you feel that for Allah to be with you there is shameful and then for Allah to be watching you doing that, isn't that the same thing? Are you crazy? So this is big fitna talking about where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is distant. And then to, to say, brother, is Allah in the toilet? Is Allah with you when you're mating with your wife? La hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. Where, 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 where is he? How can Ikhwan reunite when one of us says Allah is everywhere, one says Allah is above the throne, one says Allah is not inside the world, not outside, not to the left, right, left, above, down. Where is he? A billion and a quarter, if we, as the ulama say, if we were to spit, if all of us came together and spat on Israel, it would be wiped out. It would be wiped out a long time ago. So we can't even come together in the same masjid. Why? Because he believes Allah is above his throne, and he believes Allah is everywhere, and he believes Allah doesn't have names and attributes, and he believes Allah has names and attributes, he believes Allah has names but not attributes, he believes Allah has attributes but not names. What is this? Then you get some idiots saying, no, 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 it's not stawa, it's stola. Many Muslims historically have gone astray. You may not even belong to Islam. And this person is definitely not a Muslim. They don't teach Tawheed. Void his Islam. Fitna. Blasphemy. Idiots. This guy, this person is must a real be troublemaker. He's a fitna.